In this video clip, you're going to learn how to create and modify word art text. You are also going to learn how to create drop caps and text boxes. You're going to draw shapes and use smart art graphics. Okay, first thing I'm going to do here is go to the design tab. In here, in the document formatting section, I'm going to choose fonts. And I'm going to scroll down and find Calibri Light Constantia. And that just changes the font for the whole document. Um, instead of selecting everything. I'm going to do the same thing with colors and I'm going to choose the green option. Which are different shades of green. Right now it doesn't do anything but you'll see what it does here in a minute. Um, and then I'm going to go to the beginning of my document. I'm going to use a, a word art for my title. So I'm going to go to the insert tab and I'm going to click word art way over here is the word art button and in the text section and I'm going to choose gradient feel aqua um, accent one which the book is indicating right here um, and I'm going to select that and now I'm going to type my title which is in all capital letters And then I'm going to click on the border of the word art. Um, it changes the border to a solid line border, which now means I am now in the process of making changes to the entire piece of word art and not just the text. Um, I'm going to do the fill option, which is here, the text fill. And I'm going to change the color to blue. And then I'm going to click the text effects button, which is this button here. And I'm going to choose glow and the first option here. Okay, it makes our title look kind of cool. Um, then to increase the height of the word art text, I can do shape height, um, which is in the size group right here um, and I'm just going to type for the height I'm just going to type 1 and hit tab or enter and that will change it um, and the width they want 6.5 okay which makes the um, word art extend from the left to the right margin um, and then the position button in the arrange group right here um, I'm going to click in line with text okay which moves the text down so my my word art isn't on top of them I know I want my title to always be at the beginning so it can be in line with text right here at the beginning um, now I'm going to click the text effects button in the word art styles group And I'm going to choose transform. This is kind of cool and new to Word 2013. Um, and the deflate option, which is the second option in the sixth row. And I'm going to apply the heading to style to those to the headings. So I'm going to do it first off. Actually, if I select the first heading, I'm going to zoom way out so I can see most of my. Actually, I'm going to go to view, and I'm going to do multiple pages. There, I can see all of my headings. Then, and if I come out here and get my white pointing arrow, I can click to the left and I can select that heading. And I hold down the control key, and I can go through and I can select all of my headings at the same time and I can change them all at the same time okay um, I need to apply the heading to style okay so I'm gonna go to home 
and right here is heading 2. And remember earlier we, we picked the color green and now um, green has a style all of its own that, in that are included in all of these styles here. So I've gotten that fixed and now I'm going to, I did all of those all at the same time. I'm going to do control A to select the whole document. And I'm going to change the font color to turquoise. Turquoise accent 6, darker 50%, and I'm going to click it. And now I'm going to zoom in, and you're going to see that even though I did just change my font to turquoise, uh, I think it did stay. The, my heading 2 is still heading 2, and it has its whole own type of format because we set the font style to that earlier. Okay, um, moving on, got drop caps. Um, insertion point in character in the heading white sands charter so I'm going to click here okay um, I'm going to click the border button in the paragraph group which is here the down arrow of the home tab and borders and shading option okay way down here I'm going to make sure the single line is selected in the style section right here. Um, click the down pointing arrow at the right of the color option and choose turquoise accent 6 darker 50 percent. Which is what we had for the last time. Um, and I can click preview right here and that will allow the line to be at the bottom there of what wherever I'm at whatever paragraph I'm in um, and then I'm going to say OK and there it extends on a line all the way across which is nice to split up a document and now I'm going to use the repeat key to do that for all of my other ones so I'm going to click here and then just hit F4 um, Uh, and I'm going to move the insertion point to the beginning of the word sale um, right here. And then I'm going to go to the insert tab. We're going to do the drop cap now. Insert. Right here is add a drop cap. And I'm going to choose a dropped. Okay, and it, what it does is notice I didn't have to select anything. It's just the first letter of the paragraph that my cursor's in is where it puts the dropped cap. Click anywhere in the text on the first page to just deselect the S, which we'll do. Um, now we're going to insert a text box. And we're going to do the Austin quote, which is here. And I'm going to type some text in there. And then uh, with the Drawing Tools Format tab active, which um, this is a big deal. I'm going to click on here. Whenever you um, have a, anything selected, always look at your tabs because you might get an extra one like this one, Drawing Tools Format. So I'm going to click on that one where you have Added Options. Um, I'm going to click the More button at the right side of the Shape Style Thumbnail. right here 
and I'm going to choose the sixth option in the fourth row. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, and then it says to do Control A, um, which will select the text in my box in my text box. Um, and I'm going to do the text fill button, which is here. Click the down arrow and to choose turquoise, darker, 60%. We already know where that one's at. Um, and then with the text still selected, I'm going to do control B. And control shift less than sign to make the font size smaller. And then I'm going to hit the right arrow to deselect it, but to keep the box selected. And then for shape effects, uh, right here, click the down arrow, glow, turquoise five point glow. Um, last option in the first row, right here. And the shape effects button, I'm going to choose bevel. Just there's just all the basic thing here is there's all kinds of options to pick from. I'm going to click the circle option, which is the first option in the top row, right here, um, to dress up your document and make it look more professional. Okay. Um, then the shape width measurements box. I'm going to put 2.9. You can tell it specifically. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not, I'm going to undo that. I wanted that to be not the height, but the width. Okay. Um, the wrap button in the arrange group, I'm going to choose tight. This way, um, you can put it right smack in the middle of your text. It's not taking a lot of room up that way. And I'm going to drag the text box so it's positioned the way it's showing in the book there with Air Adventures. So I'm going to point at the border. When I get a four-headed arrow, I'm going to click and drag until it resembles there, pretty close to the book, maybe a little higher. I can even use my arrow keys instead of clicking and dragging to do this. There, just like that. Um, now Control-N will move my cursor to the end of the file. I'm going to go Insert shapes and in in the illustrations group I'm going to click bevel shape in the basic shapes so bevel um, is here I'm going to click on that um, click in the document the location of the insertion point okay so I'll just click right there and it inserts a bevel shape that's 1.14 inches in height and width. Okay, apply a shape style by clicking the more button by styles here, and the sixth option in the fourth row. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and shape height 1.5. and the shape width 5.5 and then in the align button I'm going to click the align button in the arrange group and I'm going to tell it distribute horizontally so it centers it um, and then with the shape selected I'm just going to start typing So this is another way um, to use a text box, basically. I'm going to select the text I just typed, and I'm going to change it to 14 point. Dark blue. And bold and italic. OK, now I'm going to do Control Home. And uh, here's my new really dressed up document, okay? Um, and that's it.